Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. As we go through this uh, process of trying to find the best in products, the next category I want to get into is quick detail sprays. So uh, a highly requested video, or actually a product that gets brought up a lot is this one, and this is going to be on the expensive side. This is Chemical Guys V07. This is their optical select high gloss paint sealant, pretty well known as a quick detail spray, uh, paint sealant, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you read the back of the label, it has some pretty incredible verbiage that makes this product seem like uh, nothing else on the market, and including the first line where it says, the world's first hybrid spray formulated with rapid bond technology. Uh, that's up my alley, I like the rapid bond. And it delivers superior optical clarity with ultimate protection. So we're gonna be trying that. That sounds pretty good in a quick detail spray. Now this 16 ounce bottle will set you back $22, at least at the time of this recording. So it's a very expensive detail spray or detailer. But if you can get it to where it's giving you that, you know, it, uh, opt optical clarity and unsurpassed protection, using their nano spec engineering, it would be worth every penny, right? So we'll see. On the cheap side, we have another uh, broken sprayer with Eagle One. Uh, this is their wipe and shine detailer, and it's a fast and easy showroom shine in between washes. It boasts that it can uh, clean light dust, water spots, other contaminants, while keeping your wax intact. So uh, kind of not really, not too many uh, crazy claims on the Eagle One, and this bottle is gonna set you back about seven bucks. So 22 bucks versus seven bucks. Coming up in this video, I'm gonna show you the application, and then we're gonna do a light torture test to see if either one of these are worth it. Coming up in this video. All right, let's do the V07 on the left-hand side of the panel, the right-hand side of the screen. For you, we'll give it a good shake and adjust this sprayer, kind of prime it up. Give it three sprays. Just remind me that I did three sprays on the right side. Really good uh, orange, orangey scent, which would go uh, well with the orange color. Kind of reminds me of a bead maker, I guess. Maybe a maybe bead maker might have been a better grab here, but I wanted to do something cheap, which I guess bead maker is pretty, uh, pretty inexpensive. Does add some optical clarity. Makes the panel pretty dang smooth, which I like. Right, so the VO7 went on good. Paint is pretty smooth, especially compared to the, the control section that's been prepped. And so we'll do the wipe and shine detailer from Eagle One, two, three. Even though the sprayer is broken and kind of twist, it sprays out a little bit better than the chemical guy side and has a very nice grape scent. I think both these are kind of like blends of multiple scents together. The Chemical Guys one tells you not to use it in direct sunlight, and the Eagle one says if you're gonna use it in direct sunlight to just work a smaller panel at a time. I will say, a very, very slick. Seemingly has a little bit of filling on the Eagle one side, but not much. All right, for old time's sake, let's just break out the old gloss meter here and see if we have uh, any change. We're at 87.5. 88, let me move this, 88.5. On our control section, we're at 88, <laughs> 87. You can see why I don't really like gloss meters. 88.5, so about the same. Let's see over here. Look at that though. That is pretty, a lot slicker than the chemical guy's side was at 87.5. 88, let's do that same, same side with the chemical guys. See how it just sticks? So more than gloss, definitely slickness is beat by the Eagle One side. And so let's take it outside, let's put some water on it and see what it looks like. All right, let's see it. So now we got the chemical guys on the left-hand side of the screen and the Eagle One on the right. Control section in the middle. So 
So chemical guys, actually the VO7 is sheeting water a little bit faster or would be comparable to what we've seen in their ceramic line. So the hydro line, uh, the water behavior is very similar to that, but you'd be hard pressed to tell the difference between the chemical guy side and the control section. And it seems like the more water I put on it, the worse it gets. And I'm just using water. <laughs> Ryan thinks it's funny. You know what? I have an idea. What if instead of going to a harsh chemical, we just did a car soap? So let me, let me get some car soap going because look at that. If you could tell me it, the difference between the sheeting in the middle, and it does. The more water I put on the chemical guy's side, the worse it's looking. Nothing but water. So let me do the same to the Eagle One. Eh, Eagle One a little bit too. But still will bead water if you change it. I guess if you change the water behavior. Okay, let me get some car soap going and let's just wash this with car soap. All right, so I have car wash of some sort on here. I hope it's not like a hybrid or a ceramic soap. But I think we're, this is a strip soap. So let's, this is the Adam strip soap. Let's see if it does anything here. Yep, looks like it's gonna kill them both. Uh, maybe not the Eagle One. All right, so interesting. So a, a, a higher pH strip soap took care of the chemical guy's side, but not the Eagle One. The Eagle One kind of did change a little bit, but not, a, I mean, look at the chemical guy's side is completely flat. Same with the control section. So whereas the Eagle One is still there. So again, 22 bucks for the chemical guy's side and seven for the Eagle One. And though we're just talking about a detail spray or a quick detailer, you could see that you could save yourself a third of the money and uh, actually get a better result. So go figure that. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to do a video and find products that work. So, and this one, obviously the Eagle One Wipe and Shine did much better. Very interesting to see the V07 kind of start to seem like it was breaking down with just water. And this kind of gives me an idea of future torture test videos to maybe just start with like a higher pH soap and see if, or, or just even a basic car wash soap and see if some of this stuff is just washing off with car soap. So I don't know, let me know what you think about that one. But in this video, definitely gonna give the winner to the cheaper one of the Eagle One at seven bucks, did a lot better. You're also getting, uh, what is that? About seven ounces more uh, than you will with the chemical guy. So. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, and emotions in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite quick detail spray is so that I could feature it on the channel and maybe put it up against the Eagle One. Love to hear your thoughts. Catch you on the next one. See ya.